Now, I have a very specific and I think probably quite unique way of doing that. Um, I would not just go to create new item here on Wikidata, which is fine. You know, it's a great way to do that. Um, but I, I'm a bit nerdy. I actually immediately already want my Wikidata item to be connected to other databases. And uh, because I know this topic area a, a little bit, I know the topic area of art in Belgium quite well. And I know that there are some databases that already describe art in Belgium. And I also know that there is a database on the internet that shows public art in general, uh, sculptures of people, of animals. And I do know that we have these databases in the fantastic tool Mix and Match. Mix and Match is a tool uh, written by volunteer Magnus Manske. I'm now going to go to this tool, uh, which collects external databases and allows you to connect these data items from external databases to Wikidata. So what I'm going to do now is I'm not going to search for catalogs in here. Um, I know this is a bit more advanced, so this is really a lesson for more advanced editors, I would say. Um, but I am going to search inside to mix and match in all the data items in there, also for leave and balance. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm searching in mix and match for leave and balance. It'll take a few seconds, depending on... Uh, how fast things are on two laps, I would assume. And we wait. And we have results. So, of course, just like on Wikidata, most of the results will be about the person. Or even about the two people called Liebenbauens. So, indeed, we have uh, a mention here of him in some database, uh, matched by Charles Matthews already. Um, we have one in the Biographical Dictionary of the Netherlands, which has already matched Flemish Parliament. All of the, all of these are. This actually connects to the younger um, Lievenbouwens, the one who is still alive. Um, but then we also have some entries from the Balat Images database. Balat is um, Belgian art art links and tools or something like that. Uh, is a database of art in Belgium um, and. It has many entries about artworks and museums, but also entries about buildings in Belgium and entries about sculptures in public space in Belgium. So I am going to scroll through these ones here. So we have a portrait in the Beerloke Museum in Ghent. That's not the one we want. But we have, I think, a good catch here. We have Lievenbouwens by Pierre de Vigne. That's the sculptor. Bouwerk, which means building. Well, that's kind of a broad interpretation, but it's actually a sculpture. I do know that uh, in this database, sculptures are also called buildings. And it's in Ghent. So I, I can imagine that this is a match. I'm just going to click on the green link and open it in the Balat database. And oh yeah, here's our fellow. Here's our statue. So I do know that this is, in fact, our statue. He is now auto-matched uh, to the person, but that's wrong. It's not the person we want, it's the sculpture we want. So I remove this one and I will actually use this item to probably create a new a new Wikidata item. But I will still scroll a bit further because we also have the database, which I love as a lover of public art, we have the database Statues van der Krocht. And that's a, a database by two brothers, a website by two brothers who travel the world and they make photos of sculptures, of people and of animals. And they, we have a catch here as well, a statue in Ghent, Belgium by Pieter de Vigne from 1872. That's quite certainly the one we need. I'm also going to click on that link here and open it. Yeah, check, it's the right one. So now I'm going to do a trick. Uh, because I know this database super well, also how it works on mix and match. This specific database, the Statues van der Krocht, has one extra nice feature in mix and match. I don't know how Magnus did it, but it's awesome. It has coordinates. So what I will do now is I will say from this match with the Statues van der Krocht, I will say create me a new item. This will take a few seconds, depending on the responsiveness of uh, all the tooling we have here. And it's already automatically set its sculpture and 
I will open that brand new Wikidata item now called Lievenbauen Statue in Kent, Belgium. It has automatically a description that it already takes from the mix and match database and it has coordinate locations. For some reason today, coordinates don't show up very well in this little box, but believe me, they work. I actually know the city of Kent a bit and so I kind of can kind of confirm this is definitely the right place, so we're cool. So we already have a few things filled in. It's, al it's already filled in for me from Mix & Match. I'm lazy, so that's why I use Mix & Match as well. It already says it's a sculpture. It already has the coordinates, so I don't have to look these up anymore. That's fantastic. It's, of course, linked to the Van der Kroch database. What I am going to do now is also copy this Q item number, and I am going to add it to the ballad item, which I just found, this one. So I am going to say set Q here as well. And it's now also connected to the Balat database. I like that. I like it when uh, Wikidata items are linked to other databases because that helps people to verify, you know, whether we're talking about the right thing. And it helps to build a semantic interconnected linked open data web, which is nice. Um, but it's still quite an empty item and there's much more to be said about this specific sculpture. So luckily I, I already have this uh, tab open. This Ballad database is super reliable. It is managed by uh, art historians. It's, it's basically the central art hist historical, one of the central art historical databases in Belgium. So there's a lot of reliable information in here. One of them says uh, the creator is indeed Pierre de Vigne. It was made in 1855. Uh, it even has information about the person who cast it into bronze or the, com the company that cast it into bronze, which is maybe even a bit too detailed for Wikidata. Um, it has information about the materials um, and the place of production. Apparently, it was produced in Brussels. Plus, it also indeed confirms that it shows the, in the industrial leave bounds. Now I'm going to add all this information to Wikidata as well. Um, what I'm, I'm just going to start by adding new statements. Location. Uh, I'm actually going to use located in the administrative ter territorial entity. When That's a way that I do it. And I think that's a good way to do it. Because when we're talking about public art, usually it is a public artwork is... In, finds itself in a specific municipality. Sometimes it might be in a park, then you would use location, or it might be in a very specific square or something like that. But if it's just generically in, in a, a municipality, I would say I just use this property located in the administrative territorial uh, entity. Excuse me. And I look for Ghent, Belgium, city in East Flanders. That's the one we need publish and I am actually going to give this statement a reference directly. What I'm going to do is I'm going to point it to Balat as reference. So I am going to say add reference stated in, yeah, this one. And then I'm looking for Balat. And my third hit is the art historical database in Belgium. I'm going to refer again to the identifier, which I just copied. Ballot object identifier and the retrieved dates, which automatically fills in because somewhere I think I have checked that in my preferences, which makes life easier for me. Now I get a constraint um, kind of warning, which says an entity with located in the administrative territorial entity should also have a statement country. Sure, fine. I mean, of course and country pops up as the first suggested property. It is my dearest Belgium. There we go. Uh, I will actually copy over this reference at the point when my item is rather complete. I also have a trick for that. I, uh, I think I ha I, I'm also using a, a preference setting for being able to copy references easily. So I only add the reference once and then I will copy it over in the end. Uh, I'm going to add some more um, statements. Uh, 
what's the name of our dear sculptor again? Pierre de Vigne. So I'm gonna look up this gentleman, the Belgian sculptor. This is the right guy. Uh, do we have more information to add? We don't have a collection. Um, it's quite likely that this sculpture is part of the collection of the city of Ghent, but I really don't have a way to tell. Sometimes you have databases of public art that are quite clear about that, but in this case we don't. So I'm gonna not going to fill this in for now. We do have an inception. We do have a creation date, though, which is 1885. I am also going to fill that in. Publish. What else can we say about this specific... I can add an image. So now I'm going to go to the comments category and I had already decided that I really like this specific image because it shows the statue really well. It's not made in bright sun, it's in kind of shadowy conditions, so it looks very sharp. That's kind of the decisions I make uh, from an aesthetical point of view. You see the sculpture quite well. It's a high quality photograph. Um, it's also high resolution, which is a nice plus. Um, other things that we might be able to add, material used. This was also set here. It says bronze and then Ardeun, which is a very specific kind of stone. I'm not sure if I will find that quite quickly. It is a very specific blue stone that is typical for Belgium. First gonna add bronze. Mm, here we go, metal alloy, that's the right one. And let's see if we find Ardeun. I cannot immediately translate that to English, I'm sorry. Uh, we'll add that later. Uh, I promise. <laughs> Just for the sake of this video, I'm not going to do that now. Um, genre. For public artworks, I always add public art as a genre. It's kind of a convention. Most editors do that, uh, who are into public art. We add public art as a genre because it makes all these works quite findable. There's even more specific subclasses of public art. You have land art, which is these big earthworks that are made, you know, out of uh, stone and out of earth and out of water. That's a subclass of public art. And you also have the fantastic genre of roundabout art. I I ask everyone in the world to add their roundabout artworks to Wikidata because, you know, wh where else would they, should they be? Uh, you know, the beautiful artworks on, the, on your roundabouts in, or around you, they should be stored somewhere. And Wikidata is the perfect place, of course. Uh, but in this case, he's not on a roundabout, he's just on a normal square. So it's public art. And let me see, title, I'm going to skip all the other ones. Um, although I could look up the height and everything. One nice thing that I would like to add is actually, of course, that the sculpture depicts that specific person. He de uh, the sculpture depicts the industrial Leven Bowens. So I'm gonna look up Leven Bowens. Um, depicts Leven Bowens. Here's our guy. There we go. And I am actually quite happy with what I have here. I'm sure I forgot something important. Um, what you see here is actually also, I think, some, something in my common JS preferences. It's, um, I, I, I wouldn't even know how to call this in some kind of extension that Magnus has programmed that actually shows the connection to uh, mix and match entries. And I find it super handy being a mix and match fan. Uh, I like to see. Uh, what entries an item is collect connected to and this specific uh, bit of you know code even allows you to add more connections if you if if it finds it um, but uh, you know that's just a detail I'm going now to refresh this page because that is um, a condition to be able to copy over the the references if you don't do the refresh you will get an error I will actually show how that happens so I haven't refreshed the page. I don't even see actually the option to copy over this reference. So I don't even know, maybe uh, there was something missing. But now I have refreshed the item and I'm gonna do this. Now I can copy this reference and I can paste it wherever it is relevant and correct to paste it. It is a statue. In fact, it's 
this side says statue, not sculpture. So I will not copy that here. Image, of course, is not coming from the Balat database. But Inception is coming from their country indirectly, yes, but probably not. The coordinate location is actually coming from another website. Public art is something conventional for Wikidata, but creator indeed, the bronze material and the thing or the person depicted. So, one thing that is not here yet is the connection to Wikimedia Commons, and that is something we will add now. What I will do now is actually under other sites, Wikimedia Commons is under other sites, add the connection to the Commons category. So I will copy the title of the category or the name of the category and paste it here. This one indeed, publish. So now we have connected this Wikidata item to the Commons category.